What is going on guys? Son of Beast here and right now the moment that it all finishes up the one particular motion here on NBA 2K21 of the finals is almost complete but right now we have one game left. This is the only one that we are facing a win by each team in game 7. So, we have expected to see what the team has gone so far. And at that moment, the Suns and Sixers may have a good matchup here. And looks like the Sixers has meet the rival matchup in Western Conference team. Part of the NBA, as we are expecting to see Devin Booker or the other teams win it. They have never won the NBA Finals that for real. Same thing with the Philadelphia 76ers, only one for ABA. So that was the only one that they have just won, but not for the NBA Finals. Those two could be the only two that could be the last one to reach a victory score. But there might be a, there might be some choices if there's anything else. Right now, episode 48, if you missed the uh, NBA Summer League of 2K22 preview, then here's what we are looking for. Which the following is not a cover athlete for the NBA 2K22, and we, and we do not expect that Kevin Durant wasn't on here. Only Dirk Nowitzki was already on here. So if you're looking for a boot camp, it's already just it's already just passed. Dime time is the one from August 25th. Right here. How excited are you for NBA 2K22? It's not for um it's not just a tricky question, but I don't know why it doesn't say 10, 10, 10, 10. I don't know why. Is there a choice? Is it one, five, or it should have been eight? Like in any of each choices. One, five, eight, or ten. Well, there might not be anything else going on before NBA 2K22 comes out. So it's time to bring out the final game in Philadelphia. Hustling Philadelphia on I-95, a gorgeous night for basketball. Welcome to the city of brotherly love. One time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. This is and this is for a win for the team, right? You cannot forget about that. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. So the opening lineup for the Suns. And here are the starting lineups one more time. We are going to be seeing Philadelphia and the Phoenix Suns fans watching the game on the board and Philly fans with the Suns watching it on the court for a real game. So it looks like it's going to be a great matchup here. Thanks for joining us here and hopefully next season will be getting better from each game we have. So here we go. Let's get started with the final game of the matchup. Look at the pass to Crowder. Here you go, Devin. Um, here you go, Bridges. Kevin Harlan. Off to a good start as he hits his first Nicole Bridges. Bridges. Some great awareness being shown by Crowder. Spotted the open man. Here are the commentators for game seven. Chris Weber in the house. Greg Anthony and Kevin Harlan. Thank you. Top Simmons. Defended by Booker. Green kicks to MB. Five on the clock. Pass to Harris. And he finished. Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid. 
concentration MB possesses. I mean, he's able to finish Spike and body up. And it's crazy to think how soft a touch MB has on his shot. The league rarely sees a guy with his size have such a rhythmic. Free ball, free ball, Bridges. And Embiid is always Chris Paul. Shooting outside. Not the best percentages from deep, but enough to keep defenders honest. His touch shows up most when he goes into this post fake. And here is Simmons after Mikel Bridges hitting the three. Here's Paul, and he drops in the way. Chris Paul, Devin Booker. I love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And how about him not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. Hurry, find Simmons. And Chris Paul. And early on, they looked great. They made all four of their shots to start this game. Simmons passes to Embiid from the arc. And the shot misses, and Phoenix will come the other way. On the wing, Booker. And the shot's good. Jay Crowder. At six Devin seven, Booker. Jay Crowder weighs as much as some centers. He's built for contact. Simmons against Paul. And Simmons kicks to Embiid. Count that one. Joel Embiid! Joel Embiid! And Simmons! Simmons! I love how they're using him so far. Yeah, that's because he's getting this number called early. I mean, he's doing his part to go carry the offensive load. Now here's Paul. Crowder, the pass to Paul. Another three, three ball. Phoenix. Chris Paul. They've wasted no time Jay Crowder. into their offense. The 76ers trail by eight. Simmons feeling it out a bit. Outside for Curry. Harris up top, defended by Crowder. Here's Simmons. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Here's the Suns with the ball. They're on a 14 to 6 run. Devin Booker. It just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Just a little switch. There is. Simmons passes to Harris. Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris. Got the size and limp to make that work. Ball outside. Bridges inside the three point line. Great tee that time from Green. Booker against Kirk. There's MP. First Joel MP. Joel MP. Timeout Phoenix. Phoenix. Before the start, I mean, he's going to try to keep this streak going as long as he can. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. You know, Greg, we know there's some power finishers in the NBA like Giannis Antetokounmpo, but he complains a lot that he needs to sell contact rather than muscle through it. How do you evaluate those kind of power finishers in the game? Well, I mean, they're still, power will always play a role, especially when you can add in quickness and athleticism. And I think you start right there with Giannis. I mean, he's kind of epitomizes that. LeBron, obviously, is still in that category. And a guy like Kawhi Leonard, he can send you into the stanchion when he gets going downhill as well. And the 76ers... He changed for the 76ers, number 39. D.Y. Howard, number 33, George Hill. For Danny Green. Number 18, Jake Milton. And number 22, and Atis Feibel. And the Suns here with a different look. Sharch has checked in for DeAndre. Johnson comes in for Jacob. Tory Craig, he's checked in for Bridges. And it's paid in for Chris Paul. Now we're trying to free himself up. Outside for Simmons. Tries again. And it's Bad Simmons. Bad Simmons. Simmons is a rock solid scoring option around the rim. Three fast to Craig. Three fast. Now here's Johnson. Now Hill.
Ryan Simmons. Two minutes. Two minutes in the first period. Ryan Simmons. Simmons. George Hill. Hill. It's come from inside the paint. To the inside. And slam. Dario Sark. Dario Sark. It's simple for Sark. Cameron Payne. There's 138 left in the first. Now, here is Hill. He's covered closely. The pass to Milton. Takes the three. Goes back up. Simmons trying to get open. D. White Howard. D. White Howard. His career, Howard has dominated the boards with size, touch, and time he possesses. He's just a lethal concoction. Here's Payne. Two free throws coming up. And they Howard's on foul the Sixers, number 25, Ben Simmons. Is his first, first team foul. The Suns shooting their first free throw. Cameron Payne from Phoenix. Phoenix. We'll go over the line to shoot two. Some changes for Philadelphia. Court New change for, for, for Sixers, number three, Bergen Bergmans. And a change for the Suns, Peyton, he's checking in for Troy Brent. And for Simmons, number zero, Tyrese Maxey. Gets one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw. And Hill has it in the corner. Here's Bible. Here's Howard. That's his. C. Y. Howard. C. Y. Howard. Well, this run largely the result of offensive rebounding. Passes it to Aiton. That one. DeAndre Aiton. And these are the shots you want Aiton taking. He's just so smart on offense. The final. It's back to Hill. High post, Howard. Aiton's there. Here's Cork Mons. He's guarded by Johnson. Howard can't hit. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Johnson outside. Now here's Payne. I thought Captain was going to go down. Mid-range jumpers. Has the end of the first quarter. Phoenix 21. Both teams Sixers 18. Going early and still close through the first quarter. Suns lead by three. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. After one quarter of play, guys, what's your take so far on the Suns? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, how many coaches say we want to start fast? Now let's see if they can maintain that intensity. Philadelphia with the ball. It's a three-point game on the court right now. Second quarter starting for the Suns. That's it, my Smart mom, smart mom. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And, and rightfully so. Also, how lackluster was the defense right there with the score this tight? And here's Hill, who will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Pass to Cork Mons. Now, Feibel. For the three. Corkmans, no good. And for the Suns, they're shooting 64%. Beautiful all-around play by this offense. They get the rebound and the pass to Payne. Down to five on the shot clock. And Sharich kicks to Booker. Over Maxi. Phoenix, no good that time either. And taken away by Johnson. Aiton with it. He's picked up by Hill. Booker with no one around. A three-pointer. Devin Booker. 
Booker's got five. Yeah, Andre eight. And really, Booker is as lethal as they come from deep. Time out, Sixers. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Flattening the lottery odds, Greg, do you think that worked out as intended? You don't hear as many predictions about who's going to get the one pick or the second pick. I think that's good for the players and the fans. You don't want anyone rooting for you to lose. No, absolutely not. So we already seen one of a couple games of this matchup from game one through six. This is whatever happens here. The Phoenix Suns went to an early run in the game. And then it turned out to be Sixers here in game two. That brings up with the win to tie the series in the game for Philadelphia. This is what totally happened because most scores are done more than one time at each game around the, around the clock from each side that we are looking for. And that moment, there might be one player that could definitely be the overall New Balance player of the game for each finals. So, we'll have to see what happens if there's a chance for them to see if there's a win by each team. Game three and four will be underway soon. Let's go back to the game. And for the Suns, Phoenix Ball subbed in for Sharge. Mikhail Bridges comes in for Johnson. And Paul subbed in for Cameron Payne. It seems like Tyrese Maxey went ran ran out of bounds. I think that's what just happened. So yeah, he did blew up one time. So that definitely turned to be a turnover. Looks for Paul. Gets it to him. Here's Booker. Aiton trying to break free. No good for Booker. The 76ers trail by four. Here's Max. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Pass to Kirk. Six on the shot clock. And beat inside. No! Phoenix foul number one, Devin Booker, is first. Superstar in the league with this play, but you get first team foul for the most criticized superstar in the league right now as well. You know, pundits and fans have questioned. Joel Embiid going on the line. He should one. At the end of the day, he does get it done, and the numbers speak for themselves. Embiid's an outspoken guy, which can invite a lot of criticism. Wow, it's all about the fun loving personality of Embiid. It is just awesome. I mean, this guy likes to have fun on and off the court. Crowder against Harris. Crowder kicks to Booker. Revolve Devin Booker. Yeah, these defenders had Jay Crowder. Closing down on shooting. The 76ers trail by four. Here's Simmons. Ben Simmons! Ben Simmons! Simmons got eight points. Oh, the physicality of Simmons on display. Showing some fight and fearlessness for plays like this. Booker, right side. Aiden in the corner. Back to Booker. Fires the three. And it's Joel B with the rebound. Harris outside. Pass to Kirby. That's the three fly. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Aiton's got four rebounds now tonight. Crowder, the pass to Aiton. Paul with the ball. Over Simmons. No good off the back of the rim. Nice interior defense. Can't give him any space inside or he'll burn. Good. Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons. Simmons Five out, Phoenix. Phoenix. He's able to spot when his teammates aren't being covered. That's a nice read right there. Phoenix calls timeout. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink. As 
especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. So for the Suns, Sharks comes in for DeAndre and Cameron Payne subbed in for Booker. You change for Phoenix has gone two or three when they have stepped behind the, the Suns, in the second Cameron quarter. Payne and Dario Sarge. Off the bridges. Only goes two, nothing for the Sixers. Now Payne, here's the three. Green with the rebound. Sixers making a change here. Milton's checked in. Embiid finds green. And that one goes long. He gets the playground jumper and can't make good on it, so you don't get many chances easy tonight. Paul, and it's blocked by Simmons. Reach of Simmons. I mean, coming into play on these blocks, you got to be careful shooting around this guy. The pass to Embiid. Shoots over Crowder. Rebound by the Suns. Two minutes in the second period. I'm guarded by Simmons. Outside Crowder. And the foul called on Danny Green. How's that foul on the Sixers? Number 14, Danny Eight Green. This first. Mobile one block. Second this team foul. Deserves another look. And guys, that's about as good a defensive play as you'll see. Instant reaction to get a hand to the shot. The Suns shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. And one of the highlights last year Chris Paul going to the line to shoot were two. So efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. Mm, shoot one. Free throw. Good. Paul. Greg, one of your former teammates, John Starks, for the Sixers, number 33. It's like a new George Hill. Really opposite off the floor, away from the game. I'll tell you, Kim, John's got a heart of gold in Anybody that knows him is going to be a fan of the person. John is as good a friend as I can ever recall having. This is at the Bridges. No good from outside. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Here's Milton. And the 76ers lead by six. And he's not going to pass up that one. And trust me, he should South in that in between. Over to the left wing. Main fine charge. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. The shot by Paul, no good. Now the 76ers with it. They're on a 16 to 7 run. Simmons with it. Bridges covering. Simmons passes to Hill. Poked loose, and there's the foul on Jay Crowder. That's uh, a foul on Phoenix, number 99, Jay Crowder. He is second. 13 foul on Sun. He's got to play it a little safer. Some changes for Philadelphia. Howard's Jay James for Philadelphia. Sixers. Number 22, Bradley Smigel. Number 30, Perkins Orkmaz. And number 49, G. White Howard. Up there for Howard. He went Howard. Howard. George Hill. Well. That's how talented of a dunker he is. 51 seconds left in the first half. Here's Paul. And he makes good. Chris up. Paul. Paul's got eight points. He doesn't play around. If the book is there for him, he's going to get it. That's the fight. Gets back to Hill. Uses 
George Hill. Hill. Love the determination of Hill. Took it right to the teeth of the D and it got done. 30 seconds left in the first half. Payne dishes the ball. Six Three ball, Chris Ball. He's got 11. Cameron Payne. Philadelphia leading by five. Got loose and stolen by Payne. Plays it in off. Cameron the Payne. Now, here's Milton. Not a lot of room. Out of the ball on Phoenix, number 15, Chris Cameron Payne. First trip to the first. Line for him in this Four team foul. Shake Milton going to the line to shoot two. And the first one drops. So it's both teams making substitutions here. New change for the Sixers. Number zero, Tyrese Maxey. He gets both from the strike. That's a two from Paul, and that would have counted, but he's... As the end of the first half, Philadelphia Sixers, 40, and Phoenix Suns, 35. Philadelphia ahead, up five. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Chris, hot start, full finish. What happened out there? Uh, we came out with a lot of energy, but in the second quarter, it died down a little bit. You know, it's real. Everybody's very excited. You know, our team's excited. Their team's excited. Phil's was excited. You know what I mean? So we just got to calm down and play a little bit. And I'm excited. Thanks, Chris. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, DA. We'll be right back for the Game 7 of the second half. Quarter gets underway. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. What a game we're seeing from Simmons. No problem fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. The 76ers leading by five. Harrison and B together in the middle. Simmons is out there with Seth Curry, and it's Green in at the three spot. That's the five to begin the second half. Joel and B. B. Joel and B. He's near automatic from this race. And B, he's just an overpowering presence. He, he can shoulder an offense. And here is Aiton. Bridges passes to Aiton. Back to Bridget. That one goes. McCall Bridget. And that's yeah, seven yeah. points for Mikhail Bridget. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Pass to Embiid. They kick it out to Green. Here's the pass to Simmons. Just five on the clock. Three pointer. I told you you can shoot. Take it the other way. And Simmons can shoot the three baller. First ball. He goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Paul's got 13. Look at the versatility of Paul. I mean, he can lead the break for you. He can finish. He can be a decoy. Such a tough match. Here's against Paul. Here's Green. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. How's that foul on Phoenix? Number one, Devin Booker. His second. 15 foul. The 76ers have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. And they were seven. Danny Green from the line. Season Shoot two. down the first one. He's known as a three-point specialist. I mean, Green is also an excellent perimeter defender. A great role guy who plays within himself. And 
both free throws good for Green. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Hooker outside. Eaton at the elbow. From 10 feet out, another DeAndre Eaton. Phoenix. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. See like DeAndre Eaton, a little bit slept. Goes up and loses. You're well and B. You're well and B. Timeout, Phoenix. He's a lot of attention. He still find a ways to light them up. Timeout called the Suns. Joel and B with a strong contribution in this one. And he has absolutely worn them out in the paint. They, they need to come up with a plan to limit his touches in the interior. A little bit over change, but we're looking back here in game three and four at Phoenix Suns at Phoenix, Arizona. The Suns took a three game winner for this part of this one, as Devin Booker was receiving a lot of great shots at that moment. And for their team, they're trying to pick it up all of them. And had a lead for 2-1. A lot of scoring in position for Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons, but sometimes it was definitely on Devin Booker. And also, of course, being four, the winner of that one, that was Tobias Harris that picked out a New Balance player in a game. Not really well out there, but it's very hard for him to uh, just stick it up around and also just try to work its way through. I know it's not that really easy, but it's harder when you think. It's very hard to understand about that one, but the tie series 2-2. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Here's Paul. Oh, he blocked it and the flex off the backboard. Their first miss after hitting three in a row to start the half. I mean, I guess it happens sometimes. Tobias Harris! Harris! And Sibbing! Sibbing! Some good shots. And that makes him three for four from the field since halftime. And what a factor Ben Simmons is on the floor. Free so ball, Jay Crowder. Of the game. He's a triple double threat whenever Chris Ball. Simmons against Paul. That's good. Come on, Terry. Simmons. Terry. Simmons. And Simmons. In the game. Simmons. Suns trail by six. And sometimes people forget just how young Ben Simmons is, Greg. This is just the beginning for him. I mean, and that's what fans are missing about Simmons. His age. I mean, you can worry about his shot. But he has a long time to figure it out. He could end up having a Jason Kidd type of career where he becomes a solid shooter later on. That's a two from Paul, and Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And the wide open shot from Green. Green ball, Daddy Green! Green! Steph Curry! Curry! So it's Paul with it, and it up for Phoenix. Takes it to Crump. Here's Bridges and Embiid with the block. Oh, you got to be careful around Embiid. He's around. He's capable. Ah, the foul on Phoenix. Number one, Devin Booker. It's for 16 foul. So far, Hill he's checked in for Philadelphia. Johnson he's checked in for Phoenix. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time D. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Curry deciding where to go with it. Bridges with the steal. And Phoenix pushing it up now. Aiton finds Brooklyn. And again, it's the Suns missing. The 76ers leading by nine. Up there for MB. Throw B. B. It's rolling. It's like an avalanche. Johnson, right side. Over seven. Darren Johnson. By Johnson. And if we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Ball against Hill. Harris kicks to Hill, lets it go with the three. Three ball, George Hill! Hill! 
Five out, three hits. Definitely not pleased with their rebounding at the defensive end. The, the number of putbacks they allowed has been terrible. I'm sure that's what he's going to address during this timeout. Now let's go right into game five, as we already have talked about it before, that the Sixers made a win here in, to make a lead up by 3-2. And if there's a game necessary for game seven, we wouldn't have any team to make the win if there's a choice for them to keep it up on the board. So I'm going to go ahead and get Tori and Craig in the game, and I'm going to go ahead and take out DeAndre Ayton, that's Dario Sarge in. Sometimes other guys are okay. But let's pick another, let's pick another uh, offense so we don't have to like screw things up around. But it looks like the Sixers have an advantage to try to win it all. But it's very hard for us to pick it up through. There isn't anything else to, uh, to go around it if they wanted to keep it up. Fourth quarter, we'll talk about game six. Some changes for Philadelphia. White out. New changes for the 76ers, number 39, D. White Howard. Number 22, Batiste Seibel, and number 18, Jake Milton. Checked in for DeAndre. Tory Craig comes in for Mikael Bridges. Carter, Devon Gordon. Devin Booker, and Cameron Payne subbed in for Paul. Philadelphia leading by 10. Hill with five points in the game. Two minutes, two minutes of third period. With an George eye. Hill. Hill. Hill's got seven points. And I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Sarge. Good. Dario Sarge. But you got to respect the interior game of Sarge. I mean, he's solid. He's on guard. Philadelphia's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Now, Milton. Inside, here's Howard. That was a foul on Phoenix, number four, Javon Carter. It's first, 17 foul on Phoenix. He can still be every bit as effective. E. White Howard, going to align the shoes to be two. Deal with other strong centers. He also gives the team some great flexibility with how they match up. I hate this matchup. This is one of a rival that we have nobody has ever done. And the first one at the line is good. Check it in. Check it in for the six series. Here's number zero for Joel B. Tyrese Maxey. And both free throws good for Howard. Continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting. That'll help them seal the deal. Back to Carter. Puts it up. And it's Phoenix. Devon Carter. Again. Cameron Payne. The 76ers leading by 10. To the middle. And he goes. Five ball. Oh, George Hell. Hell. Discerning playmaker. Phoenix has gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. And charge kicks to court. And he overdid it there. As a foul on the Sixers, number 39. D.Y. Howard. His first, second team foul on Philadelphia Sixers. With the flavor. I mean, you can't let him get away with that kind of contact. Yvonne Carter. Going to the line to shoot two. There's that much contact. The league is really cracking down on those sort of flights. And let me tell you, this was a crazy look here because the White Howard got a little bit of a little trouble here in each game and got private. That was going to be a very, very rough call. And that time, you do not want to uh, mess up the players. Or everyone, all the players will have to stand back and give them a technical free throws for two of them. Some both. And Philadelphia making a change here. Simmons has checked in. Checking in for the Sixers, number 25 from Jake Melvin. Ben Simmons. Johnson outside. To the paint. Dario Sarich. Is shut down now to just eight on the basket from Sharich. Let's go. Keep it going. 
That's what Sarge said. To make that thing. To the middle, here's Simmons. Good. Hey, Simmons! Simmons! And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. Zaza foul on the Sixers, number 39, Dwight Howard. His second third team foul on Philadelphia. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. And a very steady season for him at the charity Devon Devon Carter right will go to the line to shoot two. He's checked in for the 76ers. New changes for the 76ers, Green's number 14. Danny Green. 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 And it's Devin Booker in for Payne. Carter hits them both. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. The 76ers leading by eight. Six second difference between shot and game clock. Oh, the lob for Simmons! Hey, Simmons! Simmons! George Hill. Hill. He's figuring out ways to light it up. On the wing, Booker. He started by Hill. And Booker takes to Crowder. Three ball, Devin. I mean, Jay Crowder. He's got a pair of threes now here in the Devin Booker. Three ball, Devin. Booker would have been the only one to make a shot, but that won't happen. I'll tell you what, eight is a. As the end of the third quarter, Philadelphia Sixers 68 and Phoenix 61. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers bringing the quarter to a close with a seven point lead. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage for the field so far has been terrific. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Fourth quarter is up next. We'll see who wins the finals of Game 7 after this. The final quarter is about to be beginning, but first, let's have a look at the State Farm Assist of the Game presented by State Farm. Greg Anthony and Chris Weber, it's all yours. State Farm Assist of the Game. And just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? How about the unselfishness? Night in and night out, you see guys trying to force their own agenda out there. Let's finish it up. Final quarter beginning. Now. Quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. Suns trail by seven. A moment now to reset the lineups. Back to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. And Phoenix, look at who they got on the floor. Six of all. Green Johnson fill out the wing. Aiton is out there with Jay Crump. And it's Paul in at the one. Here's Simmons. The dish to Green. Outside Hill. No oh, good with a triple. Phoenix has gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. Booker inside. Simmons Gavin is there. Booker. Count it. And the 76ers lead has been cut to just five on the basket from Devin Booker. As to Simmons. Crowder hit the steal. Oh, here we go now. Crowder's got the pass. Great chance. Moving it up. And DeAndre is in. Exceptional First ball. Things from the clever and guard. Jay Crowder. And the D making the right pass. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Outside Hill. Simmons. Good. And Simmons. Six assists in the game. And that's just cold. Blood. George Hill. He's taking no prisoners. So that's just the mentality you yeah, have. Yeah, they there. Not wanting to give the opposition any hope of clawing back into this. And it's the 76ers with the ball. They've held a 12 point lead early. Earlier, first period. Simmons and stolen by Eaton. 
to the right side. Ball for three. Gets it to three go. Ball. Where's the ball? Ball's got it all the time. Yeah, I'm trying to the He lost his first three of the second half. After nearly two in the first half. Nine out sixers. This is probably the goal. And the 76ers call time here. They made a wise move to call time out there. Uh, they need to settle down a bit. They, they've been playing out of control at times here. It shows with their turnover number. So we've seen Chris Paul doing some ankle breaking. He just got angled up on Seth Curry or George Hill. I cannot remember which player that I recall last time in the first half or the third quarter, and I just have no idea if it's the right one. Well, there might be some options here, so I'm not sure which one it is. The player that got angled up already and broken, broken ankles. There might be something going on right, right from the start. Chris Paul, I think he's still deserving his more feelings to everyone, but there looks like the downtown of Phoenix, Arizona, of the Valley of the Fans is growing loud in Arizona, part of the uh, Talking Stick Resort Arena, and outside as well as the Valley District. I don't know if it's right, but uh, we'll never know. Some changes for Philadelphia. And the changes for the 76ers, for number 21. Joel, well, and for me, Schneibel. And Curry subbed in for Hill. And the change for the Suns. Bias Harris. Joel and B. Going from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. And his concern was both their inconsistency and their amount of three-point shots. Andre, yeah, yeah. He said, let's move the ball. ball for good shots. If you have an open three, take it. Otherwise, let's attack the rim and put some pressure on these guys. Kevin? Yes, to Harris. to make an impact when it counts. He friends. Go to him in these spots. He friends. Judgment and ability. He friends. Outer vicious to Booker. It's good. Evan Booker. And because of that high basketball IQ Jay process, Crowder. Booker takes great shots and he knows the value of the mid-range game. Now the pass to Harris. to Embiid for three. Grievo, Joe Embiid! Tobias Harris! Harris! Pass to Book. To the inside. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Embiid's got eight rebounds in this game. Simmons against Bridges. Outside, green. Five to shoot. Here's MP. A throw on green! Green! And great! Great! Crowder, the pass to Paul. Three ball, Chris Paul. Jay Crowder. Second three of the half. Two of them in the first half also. With some solid work. To the wing right side. Here's MP. Go up! Noticing when the defense is overcommitted. That's a two from Paul. Chris Paul. Hitting off the back of the rim. Paul's got ten points in just the second half. Paul against Simmons. He dishes it to Harris. Tobias Harris! Harris! Wow, and slowly but surely, Harris is learning what it takes to become a leader. When this team needs him to step up, he has no issue dominating crucial possession. The fight by Shooting. Shooting fight. That was a foul on Phoenix. Number 22, DeAndre Hagan is first. All over that one. Tobias Harris going to the line to shoot two. That's good from Harris. I mean, 
Look at their all-around game appearance. Easy to do good from the free throw line. And that one goes in. Two from the line there. Timeout, Phoenix! Phoenix! More steady hand at the free throw. Oh, there that timeout. In this throw. And the Suns call time here. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Without question. They're giving up too many high percentage looks. A trend that they'd like to reverse. And last but not least, let's have a look at game six. The Phoenix Suns were working their way around a bit. But the Sixers have it all, but they didn't really try to uh, try to take it all from here in Game Six because what happened is there's someone that didn't play it up that right, and there might be a hard time for them to just raise the score up a bit. There might be tough on them to go for the head-to-head -head collision if there's a chance for them to just try to pick up the win. I know they haven't just gotten a uh, elite score change for Devin Booker. Hopefully there will be more that we can tell and see what is going to happen. Let's present the final New Balance player of the game in Game 7. Let's this one goes out to player of the, game. the process, Joel Embiid. Yeah, this percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Sharks checked in for DeAndre. Johnson comes in for Jake Robert. And it's Carter in for Paul. And it's blocked by Simmons. And there's the call. How's that foul on Phoenix? Devin Booker, number one. It's four. Philadelphia leading by six. Two minutes. Two minutes in the final quarter. Yeah, great momentum for them offensively. There's the call on Devin Booker. Now the foul on Phoenix, number one, Devin Booker. It's fifth. And it looks like the Phoenix Suns do not like that call. Pass to Embiid. And it helps them have a sorry because this is active on defense. What to make a difference on this end? Bridges against Green. Bridges misses. Bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. And taken away by Jackson. Here's Sharch. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Here's Curry with the three. is also skilled at getting it done from that area as well. And Philadelphia calls time here. They're leading by seven. One ten left to play here in the fourth. Yeah, that's it. Looks like Devin Booker has, has enough of the game because the referee was made a foul and I would have had it. But the stupid call was no option. And the Suns do not like it. They're going to have to face a rival to find out what happens here. And we do not want this to happen if there's a chance for them to keep it pushing on the average. Here's a look on rebound and assists. 28 assists for Suns. 30 rebounds for the Sixers. 7 steals for the Suns. Only 1 for the Sixers. But only the block was put on 4 for the Sixers. Right now, Kevin Booker's out because he almost re had fouled out in this game. One ten left in the game. Joel B. B. And you can tell they had that play.
First free throw is good, and that'll push the lead to double digits. Well, we're growing up in Australia. Ben Simmons played lots of Australian rules football. When you watch him play, that's the toughest you see. This is it to Bridges. And it's slammed in by Bridges. Oh, Bridges. A few guys in the league who make a yeah, like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. Philadelphia's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. And Simmons kicks to Curry. They double team Curry. Good ball movement here by the 76. Pass to Harris. Plenty of space. Come on, Harris! 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 Zach Curry! The opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. That's the Dax. First of all, that's good. I know that seals the deal. But who knows what this Sixer foul number like 14, Danny Green, his first. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Scotty's checked in for Tobias Harris. The 76ers number one, goes in Mike Danny Scott. Green. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Curry. And Matt Curry, 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 Number 22, Matthias Feibel. What's up? And D. White Howell. First ball going on the line. Shooting one. Free throw good, Paul. Well, look, I've always thought that the way Paul leads his team is impressive. Look, he's always talking, giving instruction. I guess he's a real player coach. Pass to Milton. Out to the wing. Here's MB. No good that time. Some solid defense from Sharks. I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. Yeah, the game. Three ball, Devon Carter. They've learned some things. Make some adjustments next time. Stolen by Carter. From deep. And shot by Paul. No good. And he commits the intentional foul. Foul the foul. Phoenix. You are Carter. His second personal. And 14 foul on Suns. Two shots. Tyrese Maxi going to line to shoot two. Unfortunately, the Suns were to make the timeout, the first one, and, and they couldn't do it because all that happens was here. They should have stopped the clock already, and without continuing it, it would be a hard time for them to pay. So he goes two for two at the line. Final Phoenix, the final timeout. The Suns call time here. They're behind by seven. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Is what you take? Trying to keep hope alive. But making new changes, and we're coming back because the quarter is almost closed. No timeouts remaining for the Suns. Unfortunately, that will be the end of that. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And, it, and that will do it. Final score. Sixers 96, Phoenix 89. I mean, there were some times that, that momentum shifted, and, and especially early on, but let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to it in this in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. See you next time. Well, folks, the game has been complete. And your finals champion goes to the Philadelphia 76ers with a crushed score on Phoenix Suns until they meet again next season. Well, the Sixers are the finals champion for the 2K21. As for last year, it was the Bucks that turned out to be a maze to be Game 6 winner over the Lakers by team seeds of 1-1. One and one. There might be hard for them to take it on, but there might be a hard pressure to take on each inning of the periods. And now, your finals MVP goes out to Joel Embiid. The process has a great success, one block, 10 rebounds, and 26 points. Not always a foul. They'd be picking up here for the first part of a game here in Game 7. 
But well play deserved here, Joel Embiid. The process will return next season in 2K22. Well, folks, the NBA 2K21 has been has been complete. And right now, we will be seeing you next season in NBA 2K22. Once this one comes to take a start on Season 6. Not to mention already, but there's a lot of game going on right now. But um, if you have not watched the NBA Summer League, I suggest you to go watch it for now. And make sure you like it right from this video. And with that being said, NBA 2K21 is signing out. With all the support, we like to say thank you for joining us here for Season 5 of The Finals. We hope to see you again soon. And with that being said, this is NBA 2K21 of the 2K Sports signing out. See you all next season. And have a great night in brotherly love of the Philadelphia along with the Valley of the Suns. We will do again next season in season six. You've probably heard how Tony is so famous. In fact, you've probably heard how Tony was the greatest. I'm black and proud, honestly, I'm fateless. But your whack clown smirk, y'all think I'm faking. But truth be told, y'all turds, y'all just hate. And y'all yearn for rooms as gold in my rankings. All y'all fakest haters, traitors, y'all are Satan. Y'all keep saying y'all will make it, I'm still waiting. 